We explain the first moon landing. After the Second World War, the incompatible ideologies of the USA and the Soviet Union fueled a bitter Cold War rivalry. Both nations vying for military and technological superiority in rocket science was key to both of these objectives. This competitive atmosphere led to the so-called space race. The Soviets took an early lead by orbiting the first artificial satellite and by sending the first man to space. U.S. President John F. Kennedy responded by starting the Apollo program. Five years later, in the summer of 1969, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins step aboard a Saturn V rocket. Their ambitious mission was to fly to the moon. Four days later, on the 21st of July, 1969, the Apollo Lunar Module landed on the Mare Tranquilitatis on the Moon. More than half a billion people watched on televisions as Neil Armstrong stepped onto the surface of the Moon and said those famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. After returning to Earth three days later, Armstrong and his two colleagues were celebrated as heroes all over the world. Many nations paid tribute by printing postage stamps and commemorative coins. The achievement of putting the first man on the moon was an important symbolic victory during the Cold War for the U.S. In retrospect, this signaled a shift in the power balance between the rivals. For the USSR, losing the space race foreshadowed their collapse about 20 years later. 